Hello everyone, this is Wayne Vigier here from Slackers in the cover and we're back with the Pocket Rogues! Right here, see Pocket Rogues, right back on the screen, let's get into it. Today we're doing the Warrior! Warriors, come out and play! We've got to reach 4th floor of the location, abandoned prison, find 3 torch items and kill at least 5 animals. Um, I believe abandoned prison should be in our, our wheelhouse. Warrior, I upgraded it once while I was off doing some offlining stuff. Uh, upgraded our storage bags because more stuff means more money, which means more upgrades later on. Also increased a metal corpse once, and I think uh, no damage increase, but got a couple of cathedrals. Was playing some Necromancer. Necromancer's getting really fun. I, I'll, I'll be really happy to play that back on uh, recording later on. Yeah, it's. It's been good. Uh, zombie, much better than I originally thought. Like, his the amount of HP he gets per level up is pretty significant. Like, he can hold his own against some of the larger creatures uh, way down in the borderlands. So, yeah, it'll be cool. So, Warrior, we're doing Warrior. 293 coins. Let us hook him up with a pet. Still think... Golem is a good one to go just because he's tanky, he has a little bit more HP, doesn't attack quite as fast, but he does, he, he holds his own for the most part. So, I did uh, increase the training for Warrior by one, so we have the ability to purchase this if we can, uh, we can't at the moment, so we're just stuck to the three basics. Uh, let's go ahead and just cook in, do we have anything awesome? I don't think we have anything that awesome for it because we haven't played the class that much, so... Let's just uh, start off with some of the defaults here. I'm not going to worry about that, but uh, shield is important. Wow, we can actually start all the way up with like an iron helmet. Ooh, yeah, because I've unlocked it with other classes. Nice, so that iron helmet's going to carry us fairly far for a long time. Um, since I haven't played this guy much, I think I may actually invest in a soul vessel here. A little bit of experience gain, um, don't do that. What is it, like a 25% experience gain? Uh, that plus, uh, should we buy a candy or two? No, we'll probably find candies on the way around. So, do we want to do, do we really want to go down to the abandoned prison right away? I don't think that'd be a wise choice. Now, I don't know if you saw this, and, and honestly, I didn't realize this until later on. Every time we fight the boss, he actually gets harder and harder and harder. Like, I, I, I didn't know that <laughs> until last time I fought him. Uh, number five, and it actually said his name. It was Forgotten Keeper V, meaning the fifth iteration of him. And he was starting to get a little bit tanky for beginning classes. So maybe going straight through the story all the way down isn't the best option for leveling. Uh, however, leveling up, it's risky going to the this place over here the emptiness a lot of mobs in a very close space if you've got any sort of uh, any sort of hero that has the ability to aoe or attack quickly or have minions or anything like that very good place to start grinding as well as the borderlands down here uh extremely tough mobs but if you have a ranged user you can take them down relatively easily without taking any hits and i'm talking about some of the mobs some of the trolls can one shot you uh with melee but you know, range users don't really have to worry about that issue too much. So, let's go over here. Let's just start at the catacombs for now. Uh, granted, endless catacombs, but this would give us the ability to level warrior up since we haven't played much warrior. And uh, given that we start with, we have a, a minion, we have a couple of wackety whacks, a shield. We, we we can get powered up. I mean, we have much more HP than we used to, thanks to just passive HP gains. We should re be ready to rock and roll. Not worried at all. Hey, lollipop, nice. Increased experience gain. So how's everyone doing today? Another just quick update of just crazy awesomeness in the slackers world. Like I said, I enjoy this game just for the. Uh, it's simple enough that I can do a little bit of talking of just random stuff involving our our community and, and things going on without really needing to, to focus too too much so 
Right now, we are gearing up. Uh, today's November 6th. I guess this is not really a daily thing. I mean, he's gonna come out today. I'll probably still push it out today, despite, I think, putting one out that I did last night. Um, I do enjoy this game quite a bit. Um, November 6th, the Art of Extinction comes out today, so we'll probably end up getting on a stream later for that. I know Plunkin is super excited for that one. Really, we all are. We've been looking forward. We've been ARC fans since its early access days. And granted, it's still kind of... Uh, what's the word? It, it's still a little bit buggy. It's still fairly bad performance. It's still a fun game. I mean, who can say no to tame dinosaurs and fantastical creatures? And, and using them to fight other creatures. I mean, it's it's kind of like uh, it's it's more like a survival edition of Pokemon games, and it it definitely has its its its, uh, its strong points. What are you doing, Rat? Stop it! Poisonous Rat. Silly poisonous Rat. Today also there is a uh, another beta for Fallout 76. We gotta jump on and try that. Uh, 76 having having a lot of fun with it. Like, tons of fun. It'll definitely be one of the next things we play a lot on this channel. As we, <laughs> mixed in with the whole Arc Extinction thing. However, optimization and performance-wise, it's been really bad. Like, real bad. Uh, luckily, they dropped a... Man, what was it? It was a 29 gigs, a 30 gig or something patch last night to do a lot of fixes on the betas and stuff. And... Uh, huge section of it devoted strictly just to performance and optimization with the client and server side so here's hoping that fixes the issues because that's really what was holding people back on like for sure getting the game of course me being a big fallout fan i i pre-ordered that thing as soon as it was announced don't worry about me a little performance issues never hurt me on a on liking a game i mean there's things that just take time oh my gosh what is this what is this thing? Wow, increased defense, increased reduction, and we get chaos charm, protection from demons. That is huge. Let's go ahead and just clear out our inventory just a wee little bit. Also, increased storage size. Look at all that room. That's great. So, so great. Let's grab this meat. There's no reason to let good meat go bad. Though, I argue that we did pick it up from a rat, so maybe we should question it a little bit. Another poison rat. Goblin archer, goblin archer. The archer. Mm, delicious archer. Currently, I'm using the... I don't remember what my right click is. I believe it's it does bleeding damage, slows them, or heals myself off of them. I think it might be heals me when I do damage or kill things with it. But so far, I not having any issues. I mean, granted, this is essentially the earliest, earliest map in the game. So if we started having issues here, then we had many issues to worry about, and more than one. Let me go ahead and just pop a... Let's do a candy. This is 15% for 60 seconds. Get as much experience as we can. More experience means more skill points. More skill points equals more awesome warrior. Setism, the uh, each received blow restores more mana. That actually works out since we're a melee user. So let's definitely equip that right now. Let's see, basic stuff, better defense. What can you do? Um, this is technically better, but the speed is so much worse. So let's just continue hanging out with what we got. Um, might as well use a meat four. We we only could carry. I wonder if increasing our storage size lets us carry larger stacks now. I, something I unlocked lets me carry larger stacks. I just don't remember what it was. One of the passes, one of the mini passes. Nope. Didn't mean to hit that poison block, but what can you do? My 
gosh. Rolling through stuff, guys. Rolling through. Just a quick check because I'm paranoid about some things and I want to make sure that I am recording the game and not recording the game. <laughs> Been there then, done that way too many times. Just look back and like, oh, I'm recording a black screen again. Cool. Nice. Leveled off all the goodness, healed everyone up, including my pet. Pet's holding on for dear life, but he's he's doing a good job. Nice. So much, so much loot. Let's take a uh, let's see, defense up and XP by 20%. Pop another meat to heal up. Go to town. Rope of killer. Um. Hmm. I dare use that over. We a damage up. We lose 10 HP, and that could potentially be dangerous. I mean, we did invest in a experience item, so I kind of feel like playing a little bit more defensive. Would really be cost. Effective. Because otherwise, if we just die willy nilly, then we just waste the gems for that experience. Man. Not like a bandit on this one. Oh, iron dagger. Nice. I can, I can use an iron dagger, can't I? As a uh, as damage bonus instead of shield bonus? Oh no, that's an actual, like. Okay, maybe not. I can't remember, because I know the Berserker can actually wear uh, a weapon and a weapon. This is all soon, that's all soon, all this stuff I sound. Not salty, not salty at all. It'll come out when it comes out. I'm sure uh, Ether Game is working on it. Holy butts. That guy started ripping into me real bad. Oh, he, he destroyed our golem like instantly. Oh man. Use the spread, get our HP back up. We got every what a nightmare. Uh, it's not another gold guy, is it? Goblin archer. Candy, that's good to see. Oh, I see him in there. I see him. He's he's trying. He's going for it. Um. Oh my gosh, run. Yeah, we gotta heal up. We gotta be a little bit careful when it comes to dealing with that guy. That man is a menace. No, oh, don't you dare do it. Don't you do it. Okay, we may have to back off. Just big time back off. Get him? No, but... Oof. Got him. Oh no, we didn't get him. We just... How many of them are there? Oh boy. Come on. Dance with me, son. Dance with me. Got him. Why is this zombie level 34? My word. I 
guy was a tanky beast. Mm. All right, all right, all right. We'll just grab our stuff and get ready to roll. Still four mobs, and I, I feel like at this point, those four mobs are worthwhile killing. No, that that's another, uh, another power mob over there. He's another, he's another power mod, mod, isn't he? He's a, yeah, I can tell him, I can tell. He's one of the ones that we got to be careful for. Well, let us, uh, they're worth money. Let's hang on to them for now. Let's eat that. Uh, yeah. so I can make sure I'm 100% healed up we go to the next area because you never know what's in here it might be ambush for all we know ambushes could be real sketch right now okay, clear some inventory there's only 42 worth so maps and stuff definitely worth just clearing out pommels yeah I'd say that too let's hang on the feathers just because they're 47 each Thirst for blood increases damage and max MP produces max HP. That the defense, nice. Uh, is it worthwhile? It's gonna drop our HP by ten, but how much damage is it gonna give us over the defense and stuff? Shoot, let's go for it. I mean, I know I just said, but defense is important. Like, well, it is, but the faster we kill some of the stuff, the less, uh, the less likely we have to worry about it in the long run. So. Big mouse. That's a mighty big mouse. Need to heal up. For the bread, that that'll work. That'll do, bread. That'll do. Oh my gosh! Heal me, bread. Heal me. I. Need healing items. Okay, there's healing from leveling up. That's fantastic. A little bit of healing items as well. Top off with a little bit of dehush. Oh, excuse me. What color is this? What? This is a. It doesn't say what it is. It doesn't say if what uh, type of item it is. I think it may be a like an epic item. So each strike deals additional damage to the undead, and marauding damage to all chests and other containers increased threefold. Uh man, uh, with the, the speed and the crit damage and the bonuses, I, I think it actually may be worthwhile to pick up and use. Um, shoot. Seems to decrease our range, really. I mean, worst case scenario, we switch back to the other weapon. I mean, it's not that, not that horrible. These are all humanoids, though, so. That crit. That crit could be nice. Wow, the uh, damage to the undead. Didn't realize as much undead here as there it was. That's great. Destroy some of this junk we don't need. <clears throat> I like how there's eyeballs. Why are eyeballs worth so much? It doesn't make sense. Candy. Let's pop a regen. And pop a candy. <laughs> Zombie swordsman. Oh no, he got me! Barely. 
Ah, oh, for shame, man, for absolute shame. Gems cleared, skill points done. Did we actually get three torches? We got two out of three torches, but we got the five animals done. 5,670. What do we want to unlock? Oh, that's one. 3,000, we have enough to do that. Um, might be worthwhile. 6,000 for traveling merchant needs to be on our agenda at some point. Upgrade the... The warrior camp, meaning we can put many of these skills to good use. That's great. What can we get here? Sacred blade, fast attack, causing increased damage to undead and demons. That sounds fantastic just for some of the areas to train. Undead and demons, we just do extra damage to everything all the time. Pentinent blade, a quick attack each hit of which causes a bleeding effect on the enemy. The target will lose health for some time. That could also be worthwhile, but. We'd have to hit and run a lot, and that might not be. Um, shields, the vow of holiness, the raised shield, speed of the recovery, speed of the warrior's health. The undead that attacked the warrior at that time, the shield was raised, has a chance to be stunned, and the damage from this attack will be extinguished. Interesting. So we're real against undeads. Pain absorber, each block strike for a time increases the damage inflicted by the warrior. Block at the moment of impact, throws away enemies. Interesting. Probably knocks back is what they mean by that. Throw shield, the warrior throws a shield with a slight chance of stunning the enemy. As you progress, the number of targets that hit the shield increases. The warrior uses the shield for block, that then returns to the hand, interrupting the throw. That gives us a ranged attack. The rumble of battle strikes the shield, stuns, and it knocks back the nearest enemy. Dude, I think this might be worthwhile. I, giving us a ranged attack is huge. Like, really huge. So, let's do that. One target, two target, that kind of thing. I think the... Sacred Blade is well worth the, the admission as well, because I mean, d d doing extra, yeah, I mean, doing extra damage to undead and demons, that's almost a no-brainer at that point. Um, I think let's invest in more on this. Do we have enough for one more? We do. <clears throat> what can we do? Okay, so, one more upgrade to training camp, we can actually get two targets with Throw Shield. That's cool. Upgrade this by one more, and we're out of points. No points to spend on the pet. Maybe next time, pet. Do we try Abandon? Let's give Abandon a shot. I, I think we might have it. Uh, <coughs> give me one second. Take a sip of the old water here. We're reach four, uh, fourth floor. And get one more torch. Uh, we should really do that, no problem. Mm. Ice cold bottle of water. Ready to rock and roll. I don't know how this works quite yet. Oh, that, that is exactly what I think we need. Wow, that's got some range to it. Miss, you miss. Is it a gold rat? That's oh, poison rat. That was a gold rat for a second. I was like, I don't think I've seen a gold rat yet. Good old short sword. Yeah, this is nice because that means we can attack some of the stronger creatures at range now and not have to worry about getting jumped. Because if we run into like uh, the, the big old trolls in here that do some bad damage to melee users. We actually have a defense now. Take these guys out of range. Let's go ahead and just uh, pick up the torch. Quest complete. What do we get? We got a cloak of solid stone. Reduce the chance of stun with a small chance it stuns the attacker. Giddy up. You guys don't know who you're dealing with, do you? What an arm! Don't chunk it that far. My gosh. 
Don't gotta get near you. Ooh, new shield. What do we get here? We got a wood shield. Reduced defense, and we lose some damage reduction with the uh, 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 ascetism. The uh, receive blow restores some mana. I, you know what? We are a melee attacker. We're gonna take some hits. That's right, Golem. Cool. Protect me while I attack. The shield of power. Nice. He was actually regening really fast. I'm not sure why he was. What is this? Another? Does this double stack? Because we have this already. I mean, I'd imagine I might double stack. I really don't know. Give it a shot. Doesn't give us a stat on the upper portion here, so... I, I mean, really, I, I guess it's anyone's game. I wonder if it stacks or not. I wonder if there's any information. Actually, is there a wiki for, for uh, Pocket Rogues? I'm not sure. I may have to look up later and one, see if there's a wiki. <laughs> Two, see if it actually talks about anything like uh, stacking buffs or not. Um, uh, shield. Um, uh, I think my shield is broken. Yeah, I think I have a broken shield. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm not gonna complain, but this is weird. <coughs> I just have a shield, shield wall now. Come at me, son. I'm sure it'll fix when we go to the next portal. For now, for now, this is fun. Crazy. How did that even work? It was like... It was like I threw it... But it hit a mob... I, I don't even know how that happened. I was thinking, I'm like, I think it... I think I... Recalled it when it hit a mob or something? I don't know. I kind of want to recreate it so I can uh, submit it as a bug report. As fun as it is and as uh, OP as it is, you and I both know that's not the way. that guy with the range because he can hit you for anywhere like 10 to 15 damage. It's rough. I'll just go in there 
hit him? Am I slowed down still? Yes. Just an HP check. How much junk do we- oh man, we got a lot of junk. I just use that. Throw the old one away because, you know, you don't need to hang on to what you don't need. And throw this one away as well. Short sword, definitely not worthwhile. Floor four is what we need, am I right? Iron Axe of Saint. What do you do now, my friend? Each strike deals additional damage to the undead. You know, considering we're already doing additional damage to the undead, kind of makes me want to give it a shot. It is damage increased, however, we do lose a lot of attack speed, but... Attack, extra damage done to demons, thanks to our our current axe. I think we have extra damage done to demons for something else as well. So. Oh. Ooh, I happen to flow with them. We got leather armor and power. Hold up. What be you, my friend? Uh, just the same thing we got, but. Look at that defense! Plus 25, yes please! No special helmet? No special helmet. Heal up and head out. Protection of demons increased by 20%. We lose 7 defense. We gain 20% damage decrease from demons, which there is some demons in here, but not that many. So maybe worthwhile hanging on to in case we run into a whole lot of demons, but for now, it's not really worth actually putting on. Let's go. Run, run, run. You. 
Uh, your goblin sorcery. Goblin sorcery. Assassin. Smack you down real quick. Surely. Surely not of our issues. That deep. My word. See you, demon. You're doing so much damage. My gosh. Like, for real. That's a lot of damage. Telescope, silver coin, things that we need to sell for money, that's for certain, but... say that there needs to be an item or something that you can do just to be able to right click sell stuff or right click destroy stuff or right click equip stuff I mean it, it there's a lot of menu management in this game which is just something that I'm not a huge fan of I like my menus to act quick and easy and stylish Campsite. I want my pet back. No campsite. But we got our exploration quest, so at least we've achieved that. Yeah, sucks to be you. Axe of poison. If it weren't the same exact axe I already had, I'd consider it. Something we already exactly have, so really there's no point. In it. Same one we're using, in fact. Gonna get an upgrade to weapons, though. Serrated dagger, serrated blade. Those actually are upgrades. Destroy all humans. Do you know other things that aren't human? What be you? What be your damage? Ah, two percent increased crit minus six. We lose the increased damage to demons, which I am actually liking at the moment. So <clears throat> just stick with what we got. Oh. Actually, really hurt, yo. Level up. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 20 mobs left. This guy's gonna roast me alive if I let him hit me. Likely he will hurt very badly, but I'm gonna give him a shot. Yeah, 11. Okay, I need heal. 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 Perhaps. Yes. much of the worst so finding new stuff is cool guardian shield plus 13 defense uh, and 8% what are we currently using we're currently using the stun of power just the chance of stun with a small chance that stuns the attacker um I mean we got 
two of those on, I feel like we have a much higher chance to stun, and that may be saving us, but that uh, damage reduction defense, that's pretty good. I mean, that really boosts our, our survivability, so let's actually give that a run, at least for now. If, if it turns out we really need to go back to having a high stun chance for people, then we'll switch back. Oh man, they got destroyed by the world. It's unfortunate for them. Serrated Bastard Sword. We get Robe, Tanto, Meat, worth it. Health Decoction, also worth it. Serrated Bastard, what are you bringing to the table damage-wise? Uh, exactly the damage we got, plus 20% speed and plus 3 crit. I, I mean, honestly, yeah, let's, let's do that. Um, we lose damage if we increase speed and crit. No, let, let, let's hang on to it, let's hang on to it. Demon, demon damage increase overrules that for now. any demon damage to do. <laughs> My gosh. Rare shield, Tanto, old map, super coin, just the junk here. Laying it on thick. What are you? Assassin's Dagger? I think I've seen an Assassin's Dagger. Destroy all this chunk we got. Where are you for damage? 60% speed, 10 crit. My word. Well, let's hope we can get you for a, um... A craftable, because I would use you for Hunter. Definitely. <laughs> Stefan crit. Done, dead, dingle, dabble, diddly, diddly, diddly. Yeah, not even a chance for you guys. We got mobs over there and the exit. This is the furthest I've actually taken in uh, abandoned prisons. For a camp. Hope is being held out for a camp. start holding out with the whole, uh, I have a shield up and you only deal a little bit of damage to me. That's Bubkiss, you know it, game. Woozers! That, uh, that escalated quickly. I have healables. I have some healables. Halbert of the Saint! Hold up! We currently use the sanctification, that's the damage increase. How much is this Halbert increase? 1.6, we lose 1% crit, and we actually have the same bonuses we get now. Worth it. So worth it. Just lay into this dude. Come on, stop. Oh. It didn't, didn't get a chance to send him, he died. 
so much. So much stuff, so much good stuff. Pronto. Pronto Roonies. Because we need to survive. Okay, there's a big old mob pile over there. Do we dare do it or do we just move on? Eh? We're here. It's a long walk around. Let's just move. Just, oh, excuse me? Good bones. We've defeated this guy. Okay, let's. Let's pop all the good stuff we got. We don't have a candy? Man, I thought we had a candy. Pop this, pop that. Wait, we've got boosters, we got regens, we got MP regen, we've got a heal. Uh, we're topped off on HP as well. Yeah, we're going full ham, bro. Stand here. I wanna see if you can take damage. Trying to push me into stuff, you monster. Gotcha. You are history, my friend. Oh man, we just got some gold stuff. Uh, what do we get? We got the chaos charm, an increased, unusual version of a helmet we're currently using, and we got thorns. Uh, much, much improved. I appreciate it. Let's take it. Worth a little bit of money? Yeah, it's worth a little bit of money. Let's hang on to that. We'll get rid of this as well. Move on over here. What you got for me, buddy? Double sided axe and a stamina decog. Nothing fancy on the shield, unfortunately. Nothing really fancy on here. Um, yeah, I don't think it's really worthwhile to actually hang on to. Nothing down here, just basic uh, boxes. Boxes and HP. Yes, sir. Let's go. Adamantine Garden. I thought we were doing Endless Mode. Hmm, I don't remember. I guess Endless Mode actually kicks you out eventually. I'll let you, like... This is undead, though, so... We're doing extra damage, and we're gonna start Pound Town on these guys. Gold on gold on gold, boys. Oh, we got a uh, stone golem. Oh, I'm so slow. Please don't kill me. That's, that's not good. Wait, I thought I had one. Oh my gosh, let me go, let me go, let me go, let me go. You're gonna kill me, don't kill me, please. Oh, I'm dead. There's nothing I can do about that. Slow down to no. Ah, oh, yay, yeah, yay. Yeah, yeah. Look at the gems, though. 62 gems, uh, a little over f almost 5,000 coins, and 8 skill points for the warrior. Fantastic run. Plus, we got both of our daily quests that were left over. Nice, nice, nice. What kind of upgrades can we give our... I almost want to do a base upgrade, but I'll worry about that in my own time. Training camp. Let's do a training camp one upgrade. Checkeroo. Could upgrade damage. You did earn it there, warrior buddy. Worthwhile? Possibly. What's this over here? That's, oh, that's for the wizard. I'm gonna have to invest in you at some point, too. I... Let us invest into... Let's do an HP up. We have enough for... No, we don't. We don't have a thousand. I don't think a thousand has enough for anything anywhere. Yeah, a thousand's too little for nothing. Nothing know-how. 
invest these points in though. You guys, you guys did awesome. Actually, start with leather armor if we wanted to. I might. I think you are it. You know what? Actually, start off in style. Mini points. Totally worth investing into because that saved our lives. Plus, increased chance of stunning is fantastic. We can get the stun, we go in there, we stab them, we can get tons of damage. It's great. So, plus 80% damage from shield defense. Interesting. I, I, I didn't read that last time. So, four. Boom. Got to increase, increase the training camp to get this any better, but we do have two targets now. So, we're going to Captain America ourselves every time we go into battle. Um, Sacred Blade worked out beautifully. And we're fresh out of points. Everything leveled up that we want to level up. We'll have to look into these next time. I don't use my middle that mouse that often. But uh, the raised shield speed to the recovery speed of the warrior's health might be worthwhile getting that. Just It doesn't seem that it needs to be blocking attack to give the recovery speed increase. So maybe we just use it to recover HP in a sense. We'll have to check that. But next time, we're doing the archer. So, thank you everyone for joining me. Thanks for hanging out. For more news and information on what's going on or what may be, check out the description below. If you like what you saw and want to see more, like it, slap the like button, bash the subscribe button, and share the video. Expand the Slackers universe. So, until next time, folks, this is Dust Bunny Avenger signing off for now. I'll see you guys later. Later on the ground!